Brian from Kilgrenny House. Um, we are a member of the Carla Garden Trail and we've just had the most amazing talk by James Wong at uh, this year's festival. Uh, we've been very privileged to be members of the Carla Garden Trail for the last 15 years and uh, over the years we've had some amazing speakers I have to say um, today was just magical. We had a fantastic turnout and we hope that uh, you'll come and visit us someday. We have a series of herb gardens around the house, a kitchen garden, a monastic herb garden, a fragrant herb garden and a medicinal herb garden. So there's plenty to see and uh, we hope to see you soon. Thank you. James Wong and I'm a botanist based in the UK. I've only been to Ireland once 10 years ago on a uni trip and I wasn't looking at the plants then. And it's my first opportunity to really look at gardens here. Horticulture can be considered kind of stuffy and formal and it's so refreshing to come here in Carlo and just see it at its absolute best. It's beautiful but without any of the kind of stuffy pretense. It's, it's informal, it's brilliant. I need to do things, like I need to emit uh, chemicals that will defend me that are antibacterial, that there might be antifungal, that might be antiviral. I might have to do things like make my fruit sweeter to hope that an animal, or better colored, to hope an animal will come and eat them and then pass their seed on. So you can take an aspirin tablet, weirdly, and this works kind of like HRT, I guess. You take an aspirin tablet, and you drop it into a liter of water, about half an aspirin tablet, actually, and you spray it onto your plants. Your plants can absorb those through their stomata, and it tricks them you use it by the addition of that hormone, although it is, it is distinct, but it's close, close enough, the plant actually enters a state of systemic nuclear resistance. That makes it more resistant to drought. If you're into getting the best flavor tomatoes, it's a simple trick you can do. So, so tomatoes, they, they work there. And in fact, that's been tested on quite a few different plants, the aspirin thing. It's usually a salicylic acid that's been tested, but it's actually used um, by lots of growers. It can't be used by organic growers because aspirin is synthetic, but in theory, if you had willow and made willow water, you could do the same. But there are things you can do. And uh, one of them is adding, I'll explain what the substance is later. One of them is about fertilizer. So if you fertilize plants with loads and loads of nitrogen, but how on earth do you get a fertilizer which has loads of potassium in and no nitrogen? It's very difficult because almost all